Hey yo, what's up everyone? Kenny here on the Koala Cakes YouTube channel with another sneaker review. And this one's probably the craziest sneaker I have in my collection right now. And when I say crazy, I mean in terms of design. So without further delay, let's get right into it, shall we? Let's do it. So here we are, the off-white Nike Blazer Low in the white colorway. Starting off with the box, you got your typical off-white shoe box. You got holes everywhere. You got a big Nike swoosh on the face of it. You got off-white on the back. Rest in peace, Virgil Abloh. The wrapper inside the shoe box has off-white all over it. Pretty cool. And given that this is my first and only off-white sneaker, it's actually pretty cool for me. All right, and now into the main event, the sneakers. First impressions of these sneakers is wow. The design on these is actually pretty crazy. All right, starting off with the upper, you have premium white leather all throughout the sneaker, filled with holes in it, just like the shoe box. Like many off-white sneakers before it, you have shoelaces that are labeled. You have a zip tie that's nice and soft. You got Nike off on the tongue of the sneaker. And you have that Beaverton Oregon label on the medial side of the sneaker. The Nike swoosh and the back tab are in that university red color. The second set of shoelaces on top of the original shoelaces is in that yellow colorway. And they actually complement the Air Terra Humera inspired heel. You know what? Not many people might like the spiky heel, but I'm all for it. It's different and I love different. All right, taking a closer look at the midsole, this actually caught me off guard. You can see a bunch of discoloration on it and I immediately thought that there was something wrong with the quality control of the sneaker. However, looking at both shoes, you can tell that the discoloration is part of the design. And another cool detail I didn't notice until now, if you take a look at the outsole, there's paint splatter everywhere to match the yellow, red, and blue on the sneaker. Kind of hard to tell, but you can definitely see that there's paint splatter of different colors. You got blue, red, and yellow. Pretty cool, compliments the sneaker. And something I kind of don't like about this sneaker are the holes. I can stick my finger through it, meaning you could probably see my socks if I were to wear them. So I'm definitely gonna have to wear either white or black socks to go with the sneaker. But given that this is an off-white sneaker, I'm probably not gonna wear it. This is a work of art and I highly appreciate it. Now let's get into the B-roll of the sneakers. All right, and here are the sneakers. On the medial side, you got that Beaverton Oregon label. You got your yellow shoelaces on top of your white shoelaces. You got some holes on the toe box there. Let's take a look on the Air Terra Humera inspired heel. The zip tie is actually really soft. This is my first pair of off-whites and never knew what to really expect with the zip tie. Now on the outsole, you can tell that there's some paint splatter there, with the red, yellow, and white. And there's a look at the discoloration of the midsole. Really nice added vintage touch to it. Not bad, not bad at all. After winning these on the raffle, your boy paid retail, which was $150. Resale on these sneakers is going anywhere from $220 to $250. And honestly, in my opinion, this is art and quality at its finest. So that's gonna be it for today. Thank you for tuning in to the Koala Cakes YouTube channel. Tell me what you think about the sneakers, if you like them, if you didn't like them, and what you didn't like about them. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, or comment on this video. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.